This is Young Trader. The pits closed here at 2.30. That was about uh, 25 minutes ago. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted along with the ERE report for natty gas and for crude. This video is for information purposes only. I recommendation to buy or sell the stock market ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right. Here we have the crude chart, your daily. All right, let's see what we did today. Well, we put in a bottom tail here yesterday. Now, if you watch my videos, you'll see where this candle came down to 70.50. I pointed out this candle here at uh, 70.47. That was your nice double bottom, and now it looks like she wants to run up a little bit higher. I also pointed out this candle here. This was 70.13. Uh, this candle was 70.06. That was another double bottom, and that rallied up very, very nicely. So as long as this candle here holds, this is at 70.50. We're looking here pretty good. Now, let's just look here at the downside first. Uh, 21 SMA, 72.83, very, very key level support. 72.34, 8 SMA, very, very key level support. If that is lost, we'll come to this candle uh 7123 and then yesterday's low at 7050. Uh that's lost 7013 7006 and then this candle here which is 6928 which is your price channel. Very very nice support going on there. So now you can see your price channel actually flattened out. You have a flattened out there so now we have a nice trading range. Upside you can see where she went right into that 50 SMA, 73.89 is the key. So you're sitting basically at 73.89 right now. So you're right at it. If we can get above there, say tomorrow, then we'll look to this candle here. You're looking uh, 75.25, and then we have your nice retest up here at 76.18. Right above that, we have 76.76, and then 77.82. If we can get above there, 8017 is going to be your target. It's going to be very, very tough because we still have your 50, your price channel, your 200 day to get all the way up there. You're going to need a pretty good size catalyst going on. Your RSI, you're looking good, 52. You've got plenty of room to run up, down. Uh, your MACD, looking really good. Green over your red, um, plenty of room to run. You can see you're, you're below the medium line here. We can rally all the way on up. The key is going to be this 50 SMA and a close above, a key close, you know, above that uh, 50 SMA. That is going to be uh, the key. And then we can just ride it right on out. Now, you want to watch when the futures open here at 6 p.m. is you're going to want to watch what the candle is. So you're going to have to hold this 72 83, very, very crucial, and that's 72.34. Now, we've been just sideways here. So basically here, these are just like a medium kind of uh, situation. But this 50-day is very, very crucial on the upside. If we can get above there, we look at candle, and then we look at that retest at that 76.18. That is going to be very, very tough resistance. And we can, if we get above, you have that 77.82. Uh, so right now it's setting up pretty nice. There was a lot of really, I mean, the trading today was really good uh, uh, in, in the UCO there. I uh, scalped it twice. I got a, a point out of that. I'm trading 3,000 shares, so that was good. Uh, that was a good day. I didn't scalp any uh, short at all. It just looked like when once you made this higher high yesterday, you had that bottoming tail candle. And once you made that higher high, the question is how far it was going to go up, and you went right into that 50 SMA. So basically here you closed at uh, uh, 7389 and that's exactly where this 50 day is at 7389. All right, let's take a look here on a weekly and a monthly. All right, we'll start off here at the weekly chart. Now you can see how nice this is holding all the way through. That 200 day is very, very key. Uh, you're sitting at 7132. Uh, for the week here, yeah, we went below, but it doesn't mean nothing went below there, went below there, as long as we're up. And now look like here we're up above this key to uh, 72.90, we're up about a point above that. So that is looking very, very nice, very, very healthy. That is gonna be key support level, that 72.90. If that is lost here, then you can come down to this 71.32 here, uh, very easy. If that's lost, we can come on a weekly chart here, you've got that 69.48, 
which is very, very tough. Now, we're just looking here right between. This is that 73.33. You're looking uh, uh, now just above that 200-day, uh, uh, which is looking very, very nice here for maybe for a shot up to that 8 SMA at 78.59. But there's a ways to go, uh, you know, above that. Uh, if, if we can get, we look at the top of this candle at 74.19, we can look at the top of this candle here, uh, looking at 75.25, uh, and we have 70, that's 76.18, and then we have your 77.47. That is going to be very, very crucial and very, very strong resistance. You can see right here, it popped up, yes, held it below, popped up, yes, held it below. See, very, very strong. See how even how it came down here for resistance where it came down to the 50-day and then rallied up, came down to the 50-day here and then rallied up. So that 77.47 is going to be very, very crucial if it happens to run. And then right above you, you have 88.11, uh, which lines up pretty much with the 100-day here on your uh, daily chart. Now your RSI, you're looking, you're looking good on this here. Uh, you're still bearish here on your MACD. But again, it looks like it wants to curl up. But of course, it's done that before. We have to see if you can get that to curl up above that red, like we had here, you have yourself a nice, good rally right on up. The key is going to be here tomorrow. You want to look, or even when the future's open tonight, as long as it holds this key level here, this 7290, that's going to be very, very crucial. Uh, and then if you can rally up here, we can follow these candles, but 7747 is going to be your target there on the upside. Okay, let's take a look here at Natty Gas. Natural Gas Daily Chart. Now, I pointed out this morning, if you're watching my video, see this top, see that top, tweezer top, just like you had here. Never good when you see that, okay? So usually what it does, it'll just really want to sell right on up. Or if that's like on the bottom, it wants to rally right on up. But right here and this top here, that's going to go down. Here it went down. Now, you lost your key uh, 2.78 uh, on your 50-day. You lost your key 21 day at 2.74, but you notice here this 200 day is still holding at uh, 2.66, and it looked like it bounced um, off of that. So that isn't looking too good. Now today was actually a really good day. Um, what did I get? I got uh, five points out of KOLD. So that was some really good trading on the short side. Because once you start losing these SMAs here, your 50-day, and went lower than yesterday's low. So you always want to look to the left of your chart and look at the previous candles, high, low, and closing. Once you lost that, you could see where this was just selling off. But what I didn't like here, like I pointed out this morning, is this double top in play right here. So when you get that tweezer deal here, that usually wants to sell off. Here's another tweezer deal. Okay, see this here? And then where did she go? Right on down. So you got to watch this, okay? It's here, see, tweezer deal, right on down. So you got to be very, very careful, tweezer deal, right on down, okay, all the way on down. So always keep in mind here when you see something like this here, always get ready to pull the trigger on the short side. But we did hold this key level here at that 2.66 um, on your 200 day. Now again, if that is lost, then what we do is we'll come up to these candles here. So what you want to look at here is uh, 2.56, that was the high. We look at this candle here, you're looking at 2.53. Then we can follow these candles down. You're looking at 2.489. And then we have here on this one, 2.41. And then we have your retest here at 2.385, which is basically your price channel, which comes right across there, okay? So we had a really nice trading range when we were in here going back and forth. But then once it broke out, then you had that really nice double top right here. Well, the first double top was this candle here and that candle. You can see where my line goes right across. You see how that is, that double top there. But then on Friday, when it went right on up here and it couldn't break through, see, that's another double top that tells you that you got to sell. Okay, so I sold into that long. I didn't short it. But again, I've been playing the shorts here uh, a day. I don't like to really take natural gas uh, overnight. Now, a lot of times I do. Don't get me wrong. But I don't really like to do that because it's, you, you just never know what natural gas will wake up in the morning on what that's actually, you know, going to be. But right now here, we are holding this key 200 SMA, which is good. So when the future is open here at 6, make sure to see if it can maintain that, then we can good. Uh, then you'll be okay. If not, then we just follow these candles all the way and down until maybe you get a retest there of 2.38. And you could come all the way down here to 2.23. 
Now, on the upside, well, you got to look at this 21 day. Now, this is going to become resistance at that 2.749. This is going to become resistance, 2.78. And then we have 2.86, which is your 100 day. And then right above that, you got your basically your 2.99. That in the eight SMA will be lower once those futures open because you can see how that's rolling over. Just like when it rolled over here, what happened? When it rolled over here, what happened? So got to be very, very cautious here on, uh, on the trading. So bottom line, watch this 200 SMA, 2.66, very, very key. If that's lost, then we know exactly where she's going to go. Upside, if it holds it and it starts rallying, well, then we know where it's going to go. 2.74, uh, we look at the 50-day, 2.78, and 2.86, your 100-day. And if you get above, you got your 2.99, roughly uh, 3. Okay, so uh, RSI, well, you know, you double topped right there. She's coming on the way down. Uh, your MACD is still a, a, a bullish. But, you know, it uh, looks like it wants to roll down here below. And then we can see once it crosses over what happens once that MACD goes all the way down. So on um, the uh, EIA report today, they were expecting a lot bigger draw than what it is. Everything's posted here at the, at the end of this video here for you so you can take a look for yourself. But they expect a little bit bigger draw. And I did too because realistically, uh, North Dakota had to shut down rigs because of the coldness. But maybe I'll take effect here next week. We don't know that yet. All right, let's take a look here on an hourly and a four hour. All right, hourly and four. Now we can see clear as a bell here. 2.39, right here, 2.37. Where to go? Double top, boom, all the way down. Now you are holding that key 200 SMA. 2.67, just like you had the 2.66 on the daily chart. So that's always a good sign. It looks like everything is, is being bottomed right here. So if, as long as this, this area holds, that 2.66 holds on a closing basis tomorrow, you know, you could rally up here very, very nicely. Um, here on your hourly chart, you can see exactly, you see where you had that nice double top in play right here, which is basically this candle here and this candle here, uh, right there and right there. And then she just came and sold right off right down to that. Uh, uh, 2.66 level here. So again, we have to just watch that key uh, 200 SMA here, and especially the one on the daily chart to see if it's going to break lower, then we know where we're going to go. If it breaks higher, then we know where that's going to go also. Okay, that's what I got for you on the crude ski and the natty gas. I'll have more for you uh, tomorrow before 8 o'clock. And remember, the uh, rig count will be out tomorrow at 1. Thanks for watching.